we're in position. I don't want to trigger everything all at once because I kind of want the Marines to get the first go, but this, this side can all go. Oh, this is going to be fun. Are we ready for this? Right, here we go then. Declare war, annex, call allies, sure. So I need to make sure I'm sending the right ones over here. Uh, we also need to put a load of aircraft over the channel. So that's gonna be one of the first jobs. Bye. So you, Bye. and you instantly go. I should have put these guys Bye. over here. Never mind. I'll railroad them over to Brest. It's fine. And you can take that off now. I'll bring them into Wales. That's what I'll do. Right, the Marines just go instantly because we've got um, supremacy here. Let's go on to... Oh, we haven't got in the English Channel. That's interesting. So let me get... Is that... That's got enough screen ships in. Okay, so I'm going to put this one onto Strike Force across the English Channel. And this other one, which is a strike force we're going to put over here i could have done i could have doubled up we don't have any support going over there but that's uh that's fine as long as we get stuff going tell you what let's take that one then and add in there just to give the the naval supremacy bonus there's a lot of ships in there i hope we don't lose anything important let's get some aircraft over then so what have we got we've got a load of these Port strikes, naval strikes, straight over there. Perfect. Uh, what's sitting in there? They're grouped up into armies. That's okay. In Paris, we have a load of ground attack stuff. I don't think you're going to be able to reach the Marines, but I'm going to add them in. And then the other two, who's going? You don't seem to have anything. That's fine. We do have a lot of those. Let's put them on air superiority over the channel. Uh, can I get them closer? What's what's in there? You've got you've got all stuff going on. It says standing by, so actually not. Let's put them over there. What else we've got? Yeah, I'm happy to put everything straight over the channel. Actually, that's a lot of fighters. <laughs> that is a lot of fighters. Stick them in there. And what's over in here? Nothing. Some allies. Right, okay. Let's kick it off. Ball bearing trade has naturally just given up the ghost. The Marines are off. I'm going to tick these. I don't think these guys are going to get to go until we get air supremacy over here. So the Marines might go in and just find themselves completely and utterly dead. No, they're going. They're going. Sorry, naval supremacy is, is what I was thinking of. Oh, and let's also prop maybe a bit late for this let's trigger that so the invasion of britain is here we've got a big big naval invasion going off down here let me see what's landing and where because we're going to have to assist each other very quickly with this because it looks like some of these guys aren't going to make it in the marines have made it in which is perfect right so what we need to do is make sure that we are assisting we'll assist at cardiff because it looks like there's a we're not assist at cardiff so we'll assist somewhere oh we're under attack which is why we should get in we should get into wales wales it looking like it's possible excellent we're in there so what we need to do is group that up and we need to try and it doesn't look like we're making it in in Scotland. That looks like a tough fight, but we've got... We're in here, which is excellent. Right, so let's bring over the armour straight away. Bring it into Newcastle. Uh, this is looking... Okay, okay, it's not over. It's not over up there yet. The provincial government... Hang on, let's, let's just come back to that. Let's... No one's going back home ever again just let's get that straight Mauritius let's get that bit sorted out so we're in I need to pause this we are in good god we're in I did not expect this to be the case uh, what our allies have come in as well <laughs> right that looks like a very scrappy mess so let's take Calibre. half of those guys and meet up there let's take one of those Calibre. to get that one and those other two can assist there which is excellent 
And what we need to do, because we've got too much there, the is try and break through in that location. And then we're going to sort out the lines as best we can afterwards. Perfect, right, that's... Whoa, that's a mess. Right, so this the army wall. here, which is... This one? Bally. Is it that one? I don't know which one I'm looking at here. Bally Hang on, wall. who are you? You are... The colours don't match up. Bally is it wall. you? It's you? Right, perfect. So what I'm going to do is we're just going to delete those lines like that. And then put everything on there. And then we're going to try... Should we try an instant breakout? To match up with that. It looks like our German allies are doing, doing some good work. Uh, what I think I need to do is try and break through here because we don't have, and I can I can quickly try and build one, but we don't actually have anything on there to get supplies through. So I need 12 divisions, and I need them now. And at that point, we add some support in from there. And as long as we link up, we're absolutely golden. Uh, we also need... I need this coming into Cardiff. Anti-partisan. Excellent. Let's go with the rest of that one. Thank you. So what's happening up here? So in the cold and frozen north, it looks like some sort of disaster. So we need to, we need to tidy up these lines. Let's put a full, let's put a full one on there. And I need to make sure that all the troops are coming in for this. So delete that, put those in. The tanks have arrived and there is no fuel for these guys at all. I need to take hull. It is basically what needs to happen here. So that will give me an extra port down there, which would be very, very useful. Now at that point, the strike force situation is looking a little bit better. Um, are we, have we been in any fights? If we have, it's been nothing serious. And this one's, this one's okay. So that's looking good. Right, so we are in with pretty much everything we want. I haven't brought, oh, I haven't brought all the mechanized over. Bye. That's probably fine. Um, why isn't this being a thing? Oh God, so that's, that's not good. So I need to try and hammer. Attention. Right, at least leave one guy behind. And we need to try and take Plymouth because there's a port there. So basically we need to get where the supplies are and we need to make a sodding difference urgently here. It's not looking great, is it? I need stuff that can batter its way through there. I'm probably too spread out, to be quite honest. Let's see if we can put some of these guys off. Oh, we're in. Excellent, we're in. Right, that makes a massive difference. <laughs> Uh, yeah, let's make sure we hold that position. Let's get some of these guys into Bristol. So it's our allies coming along to help that's going to make a difference to us here as well. Um, where's the tanks? The tanks are looking a bit better. Improved anti-tank upgrade. Nice, let's get rid of... let's get on to that one. Where are we up to here? So let's see where we're up to. We are... Developing something different. All right, let's spend some points. Let's go for this uh, and this, and I don't really care too much about what we're developing here, because it might be something that we never actually get to at all. Range, air attack, that, that's fine. Put that one, put that one away. The manpower situation is gonna be fine very, very soon. Don't worry about that. We got a hull, which is great news. Can we split the Brits in half? Let's see if we can. Let's see if we can do this. With a great big armoured push. And we've got a few more troops going across there. Split the country in half. It's looking, it's looking like this is working, isn't it? Where are my mechanised dudes at? Where are they at? I moved them in there somewhere. Let's see if we can... Yeah, supplies aren't looking too wholesome there, I've got to say. Attention. Uh, we've got some stuff coming in. It's okay, we've got it. We've got it. That's perfect. Brilliant. This is looking so much better. Gardez Can we bon. just do a risky... Ah, that's what I wanted. Attention. That is what I wanted. Okay, so we can change that now. There's not a whole lot more to actually do. We want to disunite Germany. 
but we need to be outside of the German Empire for that. So we can work on that one. That's all okay. Have we actually... No, we haven't. There's stuff over here. I thought we'd finished it, but there's a bit more to do. So we'll go for the colonial naval bases. We may as well get this stuff. It's free. I don't feel like there's any really important stuff over here. War propaganda is never a bad idea, but uh, it's fine. It's fine. So how is the situation going in here? Did we make it in? Attention. I think we did. We did. We got in there. Excellent. So let's take Attention. a tank over there. Uh, let's put some over there. Infantry is pouring through the gap, which is great stuff. Should we go for Carlisle? Yeah, let's, let's go for Carlisle. And at this point, we probably want to split these armies so there's one facing north and one facing south. I think that would be great. So we've got these guys. Let's delete that. We'll put that order on like that one. And let's see if we can actually go and take some of Scotland. And the blue orders. Do that. There we go. It is always scrappy trying to get into countries like this. And let's see if we can go take London. Um, I think we probably can take London. It doesn't look like it's that well held. Let me get some... Some mechanised stuff up here. And I think we're going to just take a direct assault on London, actually. See if we can go get it. Synthetic oil experiments. Nice. So, with that one, which is what I was... Oh, what's this? What's this telling me that's out of date? I don't see anything. The interwar scout planes? Really? It's telling me that's... Oh, I know what it is. Yes, I know what it is. It's We're still making interwar scout planes, but there is a, there's a better version of it because of the military industrial organization. Nonsense. Right, okay, so we've got some good experience. Free civilian factories. Now we can start doing these. Let's get a good group of these going. Because fuel... Fuel's okay, but then I would like to reduce my dependency on foreign fuel, so... Let's, uh, let's get these done. Now, yeah, that'll keep factories busy for a little while. So the invasion of Britain looks like it's going well. It looks like I just forgot to trigger some of these. And let's see. Can we get into London? Taking London would be good. Maybe we need to, to, to skirt around it. Oh, that's the wrong one. I've gone the wrong one. I thought those didn't look like terribly good odds going in there. Uh, let's see, what can we do with the tanks? We've got the tanks back. That's going fine. Let's bring the, the army right. stuff down here. See if we can punch down to Manchester. Uh, we, we, we can break out of here. We don't need to be sitting in deepest, darkest Wales. I have a feeling we can probably sort this out a lot better with our front lines because they look like an awful mess, do they not? But who cares? It's done. So the Union of Britain is capitulated. We get a massive amount of stocks. We have some war score, so what we're going to do is, I'm not going to occupy this. Or am I going to occupy this? We get a vast amount of factories and stuff. No, I'm going to puppet Britain. I think Napoleon would put a puppet on the throne of Britain. I think that's what he would do. So, uh, let's let's do this. Puppet the Union of Britain. Well, let's let's do Scotland first. And I don't know where that is. But let's, let's also do Wales. I don't care about this one. Oh, this is this is Sweden. Interesting. And we're going to start puppeting the Union of Britain with Mauritius. No, perhaps not. Uh, let's start down here. So submit demands. Uh, we're going to do this. You, you know we're going to do this. Right, can I actually get these in my Union of Britain? Yes, it seems like I can. Cool. Uh, we've got points left, we may as well spend them. Select all. It's going to be ours. You know it, game. You damn well know it. So there's a little bit of... I don't know what that is down there. That's that's kind of funny. Uh, who is this, actually? <laughs> oh, let's make sure we've got that selected as well. Submit demands. Select all. Demand. It's going our way. Don't even think that it's not. I did select that, right? Yeah, I had it selected, that's okay. Um, Isle of Man. I'll put a demand on there, sure. And we can puppet these guys as well, can we? 
Actually, we've got a good chunk of Britain that is actually puppeted to us. So I, I thought Germany might have taken some of this, but uh, they haven't. I might give them the Isle of Man. Do you know what? We, we might just forfeit that one. That might be, might be fine. And um, what's happening up here? I don't really care about that. We could satellite this place. Do we get it? I think we've got it. Right, good. I'm just going to come. Oh, hang on. The navies. Um, I will take the Swedish navy and the... I can't take the Indian navy. It's too much. Oh, someone else has maybe got this, have they? And I... What happens to this? Does it go... Does it stick with this lot? I don't think it matters, to be quite honest. And I can't afford... It's done. It's done. We're, we're finished here. Excellent. Perfect. Right, let's take a look at this. So this is now, this is now ours. This is just what we want. We were gonna, we're gonna have manpower issues resolved with that lovely, um, this new thing, La Deluge. Division draining times reduced, recruitable population increases. That is good news. So we hopefully didn't lose too many soldiers going into that. Yeah, I'm gonna turn that off. We've obviously taken some losses. Uh, let's have a look at resistance. It's it's kind of it's kind of a thing. Hmm. Okay, but we do have. Oh, we need to leave Germany now, because that is kind of our thing. Are we in a war with this? We could declare war. We could go to war with the Soviet Union, whilst we're in a faction with Germany. I think what Napoleon would do is he would withdraw from the faction and go to war with Germany whilst they're fighting the Soviet Union. I think that's what Napoleon would do. So let's let's do that. Let's leave the faction. We'll leave the German coalition. There we go. That's fine. Whatever this is, we'll get rid of all these call to arms requests. That's nothing to do with us anymore. We're, we're done. We're done there. Uh, yeah, let's just let time just play out a little bit. So... The Marines, what are we going to do with these guys? I might put them in message from... Okay, there's... Oh, there's parts of China and all sorts of stuff. Invite to faction request. Let's leave that. We've got the anti-partisan stuff. Provisional Government of the Union of Britain. It's a long concerted effort to improve cooperation and compliance between our occupation forces and local civilian authorities. We're now ready to put control of the Union of Britain back into the hands of a local government. They have our blessings. I actually wanted them as a puppet, so I want to see how this works. So what we need to do, they should be, they should be good relations with us. So if we need to trade anything, and I don't think we're importing anything other than oil at the moment, which is fine. We'll, we'll build our stocks back up. We can get it from the puppets at a good deal. Um, okay, nice. So we've, we've broken the United Kingdom up considerably. I guess now we need to think about the possible invasions of Denmark and Germany and everything that is part of the German Empire. Because what we have is, we, we have allies, we have puppets here, so we're, we're okay with this. We need to think how we're going to break this up. This, this is going to be fun. And this is going to be a challenge. So what happened with our big fleet over here? It seemed to do okay. So what we'll do is we'll join those up and the submarines looks like they did fine and the escorts also did fine. Good stuff. Happy with this. Very happy with this. Uh, let's go torpedo experts on those for all they might never get it. And on the submarines, they haven't got anything new to spend. No, that's okay then. And the strike force has not done much. That's okay. It's doing its job. It just had to get the troops across the channel, which it has done nicely. So at this point, with our enemies now looking likely to be on land, the Navy is, I would say, not useless, but certainly not uh, so important. Let's cancel all orders. Let's return to Brest, our big naval base. And the other strike force will cancel all orders there. And I guess you can come back here. We'll probably do a little bit of training, repairing, that sort of stuff. We need to think about how we're going to invade this place. Yeah, look, manpower is going up nicely. So, 
But at this point, we, we want to recruit more stuff. I'll tell you what we probably want to do is recruit some more of these. Let's get 24 of these divisions because we're gonna, we are going to defend the UK because they might be in a bit of a bad state to begin with. Uh, let's get some fallback lines in here so we can get stuff back where we want it. Attention. Drag them back here. Now we can train up the armor. Oh, do you know what I was going to do? I know what I was going to do, actually. Let's go supply consumption on these guys, which is always a handy one. There's a few, I think there's a fuel consumption as well, isn't there? Yeah, there is. So we'll train those in. They're done. What we should do with those is probably get the logistics company onto the job, uh, which we can research. We can start researching that next. So let's finish training these up. French North Africa changed autonomy level from puppet to colony. It's fine. It's fine. So what we need to do now is create a faction. And in order to create a faction, we need... Uh, let's see how we're going to do this. I wonder if we have to actually beat Germany to be able to do this. Okay. So, I, yes, I think so. So I can't actually create a faction until we've beaten Germany, which is a shame. And it's going to be one hell of a challenge, but I mean, it's, it's doable. So what I need is some field marshal orders on here. And in order to achieve this, I think we're at the point where we need some more offensive forces because I will not be going straight over the border into the enemy fortresses. Although they're not as strong as you would think. Attention. They're not quite as strong as you would think. So let's switch over. What I would like to do here, I think, is delete this and this. Bye. And let's recruit another six young guard. We probably want a lot more than this, but we'll we'll do six to start with. Then I know where... Actually, how many more do we need to level up the rest of these divisions? Let's just see. I'm going to need three uh, plus 13, about 16. So do we... We don't have the manpower. I'm not even going to think about doing it. What I will do is take one, two, three, four, five, six from there. Put them in there. Take this guy, change his template over to the young guard. We can afford it. And then this little force here, let's make a field marshal order from here to here. I should have held down shift to press that. It would have just looked better. Uh, but anyway, it's fine. It's fine. And this is going to be for taking out Germany. Like, like that. Oh, is this... Wait, Austria is part of it, right? Oh, I can't go across two countries. That's, that's fine. We can, we can sort that out. They are part of it. They would come to the war, so... Uh, that'll sort that out anyway, though. That's, that's not a problem. Improve anti-air upgrade. Let's get the last one. So things are coming together, I think, quite nicely now. Starting to look like we have an empire. Starting to look like we have manpower, we have resources. We definitely have armies of one sort or another. Oh, i tell you what we can do. We can just have that time ticking over. I think at this point, we can probably edit our armoured divisions... And let's make these bigger. Let's just go bigger. And we want to get the organization up a little bit, so let's put some mechanized infantry in there. So that is a combat width of 30. Um, it should have good breakthrough. It should be pretty good. Let's put that in there. Colonial naval bases. I don't think we can do anything else until I've actually got Germany broken up, at which point creating a faction is kind of kind of pointless but we should probably do it anyway we don't need to do the air doctrine or the heavy bomber focus we could do the naval bomber focus but how does the research for naval bombers now help us with the aircraft designer because it i don't know if it matches up uh, i don't think it matters either okay let's get some dockyards we'll take those very very soon we're going to go on to something like um puppet suppression or something like that with our political powers and focuses 
and that should be that should be good. Okay, so these guys are Bye. now the mechanized stuff. I I could I could redraw that as well. Oh, we should definitely research and make the new mechanized stuff, shouldn't we? Let's take a little look. Um, then again, I don't mind these things being a bit faster. So. Although we're going across a good part of Europe. Yeah, I... Oh, no, no, not motorised anti-tank, sorry. Motorised artillery. Uh, let's put some more mechanised infantry in there. Uh, let's have a look. Okay. Nice. No changes to save. Has it reset it, you scumbag? Let's save that. We'll make those a bit bigger. And I'm going to save that for the, the good old... Actually, can we change that to the flame tank? Yeah, that gives a nice boost there. We've got more artillery there to make up for it. Let's do it. I don't mind spending the points. And then we're going to get the uh, supply companies to help out as well. So I think those would be quite useful. Right, we've got more infantry coming in. This is, this is excellent. We've got more manpower at this point. Attention. Let's change all our divisions up to some big stuff. To make sure we don't get pushed around. This is the plan. Uh, we'll probably have to... We will have to increase the strength of these guys down here for sure. Attention. Oh yeah, you, you're on the front line. Okay. Anything on the front line needs to be big, heavy stuff now. Big stuff. The business. No messing. Uh, new technology. Good. That's looking good. Center goal's not going home. Anything in industry. We could work our way down these. Fuel processing. We're on medium, ta sorry, modern tanks. It might be the thing to do. It might be the thing to do. I wouldn't mind doing heavies, actually, for going up against the forts, but we'll probably try and go around the forts. I think it'll be better. I think it'll be quicker, anyway. I did want to do heavies, but um, anyway. I don't think that's going to be a thing anymore. We've got mountaineers down in the That's south. Sure. We'll put them over there and we'll make sure we've got rail lines feeding everyone over here as well, which we have not <laughs> yet. Uh, that's okay. Little upgrades here and there. Just link that up like that one. There, that should be... As long as we've got lines coming back to Paris, at that point we should be good. Okay, excellent. Because this will get involved in the war here, whether we wish it to or not. So we need to be prepared for that. And then... Let's see, we've got the new anti-tank. Which is probably not really necessary. Why can't I see it there? It's because we're broken again. Is that because we're broken? Am I looking at the wrong thing? There it is. I maybe was looking at the wrong thing. Okay, and what we can also do is take all those aircraft off the channel now because we do not need, uh, we do not need those. Stand down. And we don't need to train, so that's okay. And a thousand ships, <laughs> anti-ship things. Yeah, um, stand down. Stand down, uh, but maybe train. And we've got spy planes which we don't need. We've got these over the UK, but they're supporting armies, I suspect. And that's okay. So what we'll probably need to do is put fighters over Northern France. So that's something that we should prepare for. Let's get, have we got, oh, okay. So we should definitely do this. Yeah, let's make sure that we've got our AA defenses up and to scratch. And we've got radar, radar's done. And we would like some air bases. All along here, really. Make sure we've got them where we need them. There's nothing right on the front line. That's good. That's got that's quite a lot of construction. Got a lot of stuff in the planning here. And uh, it's going to be a while, I think, before we're ready to take on Attention. the Germans. It's going to be a big fight when we do as well. But that's okay. We'll increase the armor, I think. We've got some nice manpower coming on. Should we train some more tanks? We, sh we should train some more tanks. We'll put that in. Let's keep going down there. 
Um, probably don't want too many. Six divisions. It should be enough. Because we need to be able to supply them and we need to be able to reinforce them when they get damaged. It doesn't look like the Germans have a lot on this border at the moment, but trust me, once we start preparing for war against them, they'll suddenly find a lot of extra stuff. Um, we should probably recruit some new armies altogether. Uh, the Marines do not need to be in there, so let's uh, do the same old trick, do a fallback line. If we can do that, and they can train when they get there. And everything else looks like it's pretty much ready. So, it's now just a case of build everything up. And let's see if we can knock Germany out of the war. And then complete our French goals. 